Hello and welcome to my little gameplay video of Hard Space Shipbreaker. In this video I thought to demonstrate this early access a little bit better I'm going to guide you through the uh, salvaging process of a tier 2 ship because this is basically where the tutorial leaves you alone and uh, maybe there are one or two questions you're struggling with yourself while you're playing that or you want to check out how the game works whatever might be the case we're going to hop right in if you like this kind of content please feel free to subscribe to my channel and i will keep you posted with new stuff about this game so first off it doesn't matter too much which ship we uh choose they have pretty similar uh layouts we're going to take the benoit why not and uh, we're going to get into there First off, during this uh, phase of the game, in the tutorial you have uh, a free game process. In the main game, we are under the clock of 15 minutes. We have 15 minutes to do whatever we can to this ship. Of course, we can return as often as we want to, but, uh, well, every day costs us 500k, so we have to earn at least 500k. So we get into there, or work orders tell me we have to Salvage a class 1 reactor, salvage a power cell, and salvage some kilogram of nanocarbon and metal. So first off, to start salvaging this big old thing here, we have to uh, take care about the pressure inside. These are things that are uh, explained in the tutorial, so I'm not going to get in too deep into that, but uh, it just sums up if I would uh, just start salvaging this baby here, we would just go boom. So to avoid that, we're going to get into this and open up the airlock. So this game really shines at its uh, detail level how we're going to uh, salvage this ship. You will see that in a few moments. So first off, we're going to jump into the airlock, uh, change the pressure system again so we can get inside. Good. So, hello, that's the inside of the ship. We have to depressurize this thing, toggle the atmosphere regulator. I'm playing uh, as quick as I can because we have we are on a clock. Here goes uh, the first piece of loot. These are randomly generated. Generated. Pick up uh, utility keys whenever you can. They are useful. Also, remember opening the airlock after depressurizing. It saves lives. If you don't, there is a bubble of pressurized air in the airlock if you don't open the door. If you happen to weld into there, you go boom. So first off, our well, first goal is the reactor, which sits in here. Bad thing about that, once we start, uh, once we start getting that thing out, it's going to uh, set off a timer, and then it's going to go boom. So we have to uh, get that into the uh, processing area as quick as possible. So uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm going for the cut points where uh, the ship is welded together, basically. And uh, there goes the last one. You can notice them on the uh, yellow and black design, but uh, if you're insecure, you can just uh, go for your scanner. Every bright yellow spot is a cutting point. So now we're going off to uh, the grab tool, and uh, after cutting loose these four spots, we can take this panel, push it a little, and get it right into the processor. I really like to use the tethers for that. So where is it? There is it. Oh, come on. Why can't we? Oh. So uh, obviously I gave it a little bit too much of a push. So let's uh, change that. Well, okay. Tether. Let's not tether this one. I'm going to tether the next one because uh, this is a waste of tethers. They are limited after all, you see. So the first panel goes into the uh, processor. Wonderful. Leaves up with an open panel towards the reactor. You can now either grab it manually and uh, toss it down into the barge. But what I really like to do for insecure people, you pick the tether tool, right click your mouse button, put it over to the barge and release your right mouse button. Load a little bit to the side and off it goes. It's a to total waste of tethers, but it's uh, pretty cool, don't you think? So f next step is we have to salvage na nanocarbon and metal. These steps are basically very, very easy. So uh, all we have to do now is to uh, cut loose a few more plates. So let's do that. 
One wonderful thing about this game is that uh, you can basically salvage everything. If you feel like it, go ahead, grab some light, and uh, toss it over into the salvager. So uh, it's up to you to find out which uh, items are worth something and which are not. And uh, we always have to remember we are working on a clock. There's only 10 minutes left as you can see uh, above my uh, work orders, there's the clock. And uh, we have to uh, take care here. And uh, there's a reactor plate here as well on this uh, panel, so it's uh, especially uh, valuable. So this time we're going to use the tether method. Put the tether on that and let it end on the uh, processor there and whoosh, it goes in there. Um, tethers are sadly limited, so you can only do that as, uh, as often as you have tethers. But uh, you can reshop tethers at the kiosk, so that's not really a problem. So let's, uh, I thought, let's uh, bring those nacelles down there. For the nacelles, you uh, you will need the uh, the tethers. So there we go, botched up that one. Oh boy, these are uh, single nacelles. Oh man, that was bad. I thought th those were double nacelles. My bad. So, uh, well, oh, turns out the tether uh, got blocked there, my bad. So let's redo that. And uh, let's cut off the other nacelles. The nacelles are really valuable parts. In this video, I'm focusing a lot about uh, doing those uh, steps to make sure that you're going to make profit at the end of the day. We're still uh, having nine minutes, so I have all the time it takes to uh, salvage the other two nacelles as well. But uh, as you might notice, my uh, CO2 is already dropping, so uh, we, we gotta grab some air soon. There are two ways how to do that. You can either uh, try to loot something uh, from the ship, or you buy something from the kiosk. So, I'm going to dislodge those nacelles, and then we're going to see. Go. Welding off the cut points there and uh, dropping it down with a tether. So uh, for the O2 I'm going to switch on my scanner and uh, get over to the object scanner. Uh, with the object scanner you can uh, check out if there are any consumables in there you want to have. Oh there's a data drive. So uh, I don't see any O2 bottles uh, at the first glance, so let's get over to the uh, up there. I could I could strain, strain out the time a little bit more, but uh, 7.30 is generally what I consider a really good mark to restock my, uh, my oxygen, because uh, it's, half, it's half time, so uh, we are going to uh, end our shift when the next when the tanks get empty anyways so now to the power cell i was really struggling quite hard to uh or no it's too early for the power cell we have to do other things first um next up i'm going to you um salvage the thrusters these are also very very valuable parts they are sitting back here and uh first off we're going to pick up the, the thruster cap it goes into the processor so there we go. Don't waste that, it's 100k or such. Or 60? I don't know. Only remember those uh, caps are really valuable. And this now opens up the thruster. This beautiful thing. Goes into the barge. So we have to drop it down. Um, for the thruster, just uh, pick it up and slowly drift backwards. There we go. Until it's outside. And then you can either uh, bound it, bind it to a tether or just uh, toss it manually down there. The tether met method is uh, not really necessary, but uh, I really like to use tethers as a very simple solution to bind stuff downwards that I want to see there. Okay, so after that's all done, the thruster got, got uh, credited. Okay, 
so next steps are for me that I want to check out the uh, data drive here. Pick them up if you're uh, down for lore. Data drives are fun. Okay, so next step, we're on the clock, five minutes left. We are going to uh, weld off the cut points of this area here. And there's another one here. So now we can uh, toss the panels uh, into the processors. So let's tether that bad boy again. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, so this one is loose uh, as well. If they're uh, having a, a, a light blue color when you grab them with a tool, they're loose. If they're here like orange, you can't uh, loosen them. Okay, so uh, I'm going to remove a few more of those uh, ceiling things. And then we're going to... Uh, look for the uh, power cell. So we got the uh, metal component already done now. So uh, these ships all work like this. They have uh, this main bus or main, the main tunnel there. And uh, you can't just uh, work with them like that. They're all the same. If you screw uh, away the uh, the floor and the, the the top, the rest becomes quite easy. There we go, shove it in. So that was sadly no nanocarbon, but uh, well. So. There we go. So for the power cell, uh, you need the object scanner to find it uh, easily. With the object scanner, you can look behind inside those walls, and the power cell is always inside one of those walls. So uh, without the uh, object scanner, it's a bit hard because you have to guess where it is. There's the coolant tanks, more coolant tanks, computer terminals, atmosphere regulators. Power cell, there we go. So uh, now we know that behind this uh, panel here sits the power cell. So first off, I want to uh, look up at how much time there's left. Not too much, but enough. We're going to uh, drop down this crate in here. Especially these sophisticated items are worth a lot. Uh, keep in mind that you can also loot some uh, items here, like the repair kits and stuff like that. And now we're going to get to the power cell. Um, with all the explaining, I'm a little bit slow on the nanocarbon, but I think uh, how to earn the nanocarbon is pretty clearly visible here. So we're going to weld out that plate now. One cut over here. Um, always make sure that you don't accidentally uh, cut into the uh, power cell there, that goes boom. The game is really uh, nasty when it comes down to such mistakes. Okay, so last cut. Now we have that thing loosened. Really important there is before you grab it, float a bit forward to have the ability to float backward again, or you won't be able to pull that thing. The thing with the welder there, uh, which cuts the even, uh, which cuts the straight lines, is it has a uh, it, it shoves you back. It has a backdraft there, and uh, you will need some space to move. And there is a power cell. The power cell we have to unscrew it and toss it into the barge over here. So uh, we're going to do that. Solve it. Wait until the bar is empty. And this is another one of those items where, which has only a limited uh, time before they explode. You have to uh, basically salvage them uh, without dropping. That's the main uh, thing here, what it's all about. And that's that's that. And uh, now what's left is uh, we, we should find some nanocarbon things, but it's not that important to really solve all work orders at one day. 
because um, these work orders give you LT, which stands for links tokens. Um, these are needed. Ooh, sorry, I just clicked there. Too much talking. These are needed to uh, upgrade your suit. So if you have uh, one or two gold left on the uh, bar, it's okay. For me personally, I will I will now uh, grab a few of uh, these uh, crates while I can. And uh, what's also pretty cool uh, are electronic devices hanging on the walls. They are really uh, nice as well. Something like... Uh, where is that? There, the uh, atmosphere regulator, which uh, we use to depressurize the ship. It's actually worth quite some penny. So, uh, but now there's no more time. Let's get back to the hatch. We have only 10 seconds left. I hope we're not too late. So let's get over there. Uh, no, we're too short. But let's see. We didn't get in. You don't get any uh, penalty, obviously, for uh, getting back late. So here we have the summary of what's uh, worth what. So here's you see the lights are really not worth your effort. And uh, reactor 500k, nacelles 300k total. Well, divided by four. The power cell is 100k. The panels. There's a re really nice readout here. And uh, well, since this is the first video I do on this game, I'm trying to keep it as basic as possible. The TLDR on this here is you have to find out for your own what's worth it. Like the heart crate, 80k h, wonderful. Uh, the lights not so much like I said before. So now we complete our shift and our friendly friends from the Lynx Incorporated are uh, Always eager to help us and here you have your daily fees You have to lease your bay, you have to rent your cutter, you have to rent your grappler, you have to rent your living quarters As a rent to everything. So this is your basic cost of 500k But uh, what I've shown you there is enough to uh, salvage the starter uh, ships like in one go you acquire more money than you have uh, than you have to invest keep sure that your uh, tools are always in order and now comes the pod where you can upgrade your items I don't want to get too deep into that because the main topic of this video was how to uh, get these ships uh, into pieces so lastly you can continue salvaging those things but uh, always keep in mind that you somehow have to acquire 500k or you're basically walking backwards on your goal of paying back 1 billion bucks. So um, there's no downside on uh, leaving the ships alone. And if you're feeling like uh, you're able to uh, get more money out of that, go for it. But if not, just go into the ship catalog and uh, try out the next one. And that's that. That's your basic start on uh, Shipbreaker. <laughs> the higher grades get more and more dangerous, and I'm going to feature them in other upcoming videos, so feel free to check them out as well. Also, drop me a comment down below if there are any questions, if you think that I've forgotten something important, or you just want to talk about the game. You're welcome. Apart from that, pre blah, please press a like on this video and uh, share it with your friends to show the world that you like this content if you want to do so. Other than that, have a good day and goodbye.